In this video, I'm going to show you what is probably the simplest and easiest way of deriving n lambda equals d sine theta, which is good to know, and it's also a requirement of A-level physics. So let's look at a simple setup here. So we have a slit that has got a separation of d. We have a central maximum, and we also have an nth maxima there. So this could be the first maximum, second maximum, third maximum, and so on. So we have a nice triangle there, and we're going to say that there's an angle of theta between the central maxima and one of our um, other maxima. We can also draw the rays coming from the two points in the slits, and we can also work out that there's going to be a path difference between those two of n lambda. Because you've got a maxima, the maxima will only occur where you have constructive interference, which means that you must have a whole number of wavelengths of path difference for it to interfere constructively. So that means that n must be one, two, three, four. It can't be anything in between. It has to be an exact whole number multiple of the wavelength. So we can work out that this distance marked there must be n lambda. It must be a whole number of wavelengths. The complicated thing that confuses a lot of people is how we magically get from the angle theta being here to the angle theta also being here. And there is various ways of proving it. There's a lot of unnecessary and complicated trigonometry that you can go through. The simplest way to do it is to realize that this red triangle and this blue triangle are actually similar triangles that the sides of both of these triangles have proportionalities with d and lambda. They're functions of d and lambda, and so they're actually multiples. And so the two triangles are similar, and through the properties of similar triangles, these two angles must be equal. And what we can now do is just extract this little triangle here. So we've got d on one side, n lambda on this side, and we've got theta. And we can use basic trigonometry if we think about the definition of sine, sine is your opposite over your hypotenuse. And so your opposite is going to be the n lambda. And your hypotenuse in this case is d, which you think about the right angle. The right angle is in here. So the right angle is going to be here. So d is going to be opposite the right angle, making it the hypotenuse. And then by simply rearranging this equation, you end up with d sine theta equals n lambda. So by very simple trigonometry and the application of similar triangles and a nice drawing, you can get straight to this final formula. I hope this was helpful to you and you now know how to derive this expression. If this was helpful, please subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.